Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. In this video, I want to show you how to download your Procreate brushes and brush sets to your iPad. I'm going to use one of the brush sets available on my site as an example, but this concept will also work for any free ones you'll find online or purchase from other sites as well. I'll walk you through how to get them off the internet, onto your iPad, and into Procreate. So let's get going. I'm going to walk you through the process using one of the brush sets available on my website as an example. So here I have my designer set. I click on the brush image and a window will pop up from my Gumroad shop. It'll show you the entire graphic for it and it'll also give you the option to buy it. So you can go ahead and buy it. You'll end up with this receipt that will pop up on your screen. You'll also get one in your email, which will also allow you to access the product, but we can access it right here. So we choose view product. Another window pops up with the product ready for us to download. So in here, we can download the entire brush set at the top, or we can download just a single brush. I have each of them listed separately. And then there's also a PDF that goes with this. Uh, it's the custom brush descriptions that are in this set. So let's go back to the top here and let's try downloading the entire brush set. So we choose download. It says, do you want to download it? Yes, download and it actually did it. Now, the difference with this iOS 13 is you think it's done nothing because it was supposed to come up and tell you something, but up here, this little blue arrow blinked. So I'm actually gonna do it again and watch this little blue arrow. So when I touch that and I say, oops, I say yes, see this little thing blinking and it had a little loading, that's where my download went. So I can access it one of two ways. I can just touch on this and every download I've ever put in here is here. Or I can go back into my files and there's a download folder now. It's down here, downloads. And here's all the downloads. And my designer set, if I go by date here, there it is right there and it recognizes it as a Procreate. So either way, if I were to go back into my browser and choose the blue arrow, which is the quickest way, choose on my designer set that I downloaded, it automatically imports it into Procreate. So if I go into one of my Procreate files and I go to the brushes, there it is right at the top as a brush set. So I don't have to do anything other than that. That is the simplest way to do it. Uh, let's go back here and just take another look. Touch away from that. Uh, you can download individual ones and see again, it'll ask, do you want to download it? Yep, put it into my download. The individual brush is there. Now let's say that you don't use this blue arrow. You've just downloaded them and you'll go at them later or you've lost them or you've changed them by mistake. They're now sitting in your file. So here I have the individual brush and here I have the entire set. So if I wanted the individual brush, it comes in by itself but it is down in the imported. So the individual brushes come through the imported folder, whereas brush sets come in as complete brush sets and usually land at the top of your, your list. So if I wanted to put it into another folder, let's say I wanted to replace the one in here that I messed up, I would long touch it and see how I can move it now. And you move it over and it has a little plus sign showing up here and it actually put it into the, yeah, it did put it into the right folder. So now if you remember the name of that particular brush, let's go back in here, it was called black tie. So if I go back in here, here's the glitch in this is that it didn't fall into my designer. It actually fell into the one below it. There it is there, black tie. So sometimes it's tricky to get it into the right folder. So that plus is on, the folder underneath has to be, and you have to ride it a little on the high side. That doesn't wanna go. Sometimes it's even hard to get it into the top folder. So I'm gonna drag that folder down one. Now it's down here. Let's try dropping it in there and then ride a little on the high side of it. Oop, not all that high. And there we go, fell into the right one. So I do find it a little tricky to get my brushes into the proper folder individually but you do get it by the entire brush set. So if you have to reload the whole brush set in, it doesn't, it takes a lot less time than trying to drag them individually in. 
but know that you can get the brushes individually if you want as well. And that is how easy it is. You don't have to unzip anymore. If you do happen to find a zip file like here, sometimes it'll ask you want to, uh, do you want to download as a zip file? Um, I've done that in the past. So there's my zip in my file app. So if I just touch on it, it actually opens up the folder. So it unzips it itself. It understands that you don't need any extra apps for it. And now if I went into this folder, there are, there's everything that was in the download, all the individual brushes, the PDF and the brush set is in there as well. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, you can check out my brush sets over on my website. I'll leave the link in the description below. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.